day today, we're not going to give them any cheap, easy, comfortable set piece ball to attack from. And that'll go for today and ongoing. Is everyone happy with that? Every time there's a whistle, they've got the ball, the mentality just has to be to attack. Yeah, good. Um, I think we're ready, boys. Closing out the fall 2015 season, Cal Poly comes in at number 9 in the D1A College Rugby rankings and anticipates tougher competition in the future. Expectations were high coming into the fall, as the team ended last season with a playoff appearance and a second place conference finish. Head coach James Tessariero came into his first season with Cal Poly last year without seeing much American rugby played before. Without any firm expectations coming in, Tessariero was impressed by the overall skill and competitiveness of the team. Um, so I thought we kind of built quite well. I thought we had a very good leadership group. Um, we kind of committed to a, a game plan and a structure and uh, we got fit and we got organised. So I thought I was very happy with the way we finished the season. And then heading into the playoffs last year, I was very confident and very happy with the way the guys had embraced our program. Cal Poly Rugby lost eight players from its first side to graduation, so the club's depth was a concern coming into the fall. But with the veterans having a year of experience with a new system, the team benefited from continuity. Uh, well, leading into this fall, um, I had a bit of a better lay of the land. Um, we did lose a lot of uh, talent out of our starting 15 last year, which was potentially uh, a bit of a worry. So I thought there was gonna be a bit of rebuilding in terms of our 15. Um, so depth was gonna be a priority in bringing through some of the rookies and some of last year's rookies. Um, uh, but then we're using the, more or less the same game plan as last year. So what we lost in terms of talent, I was hoping we could make up in terms of continuity and we should be equally competitive. However, there have been some further concerns with gaining match experience for the team heading into the regular season, club president Zach Marco says. Uh, most of the challenges that we face this year have just been uh, actually getting games in this preseason. We've had several teams uh, unfortunately have to back out at the last minute. So trying to get ex playing time and experience for our younger players has been a bit of a struggle this season. Tessariero notes how this has affected the team's play this fall season. We've had a few opponents pull out of fixtures, which um, has set us back a little bit in terms of our organisation. Uh, so I'd probably say we're not as organised and coordinated as, as I'd hoped to be um, kind of by Christmas break, but um, we're not too far off the mark. Industrial technology senior Sean Gorman says that experience is necessary to compete at this level. Playing at Locke, Gorman is a part of one of the best forward packs in the country. There's no way that you could probably not know a thing about rugby and start at poly. The level is much higher. Uh, St. Mary's, for example, is number one. And so we play them, and that's just a totally different level of play. To help get the players season for play, Cal Poly Rugby has planned to host a training camp with St. Mary's the weekend after finals, starting Friday, December 11th. Gorman believes that after a sluggish start, the camp and further training will help improve the team. Uh, I thought we did pretty good. We made uh, started off slow. We made progress. So then we got that camp with St. Mary's. So... I think it's going to be a big step for us to uh, learn from them and play with them. So, but we definitely got to get better to make that push in the playoffs because right now we're not there, but I have faith in uh, James that we'll get there. Tessarero hopes that bringing in an opposing team will help shake things up a little. Well, the, the idea with the St. Mary's training camp is to do as much controlled opposed work as we can. Um, we spend a lot of time at training running our first 15 against our second 15. When you're training against yourself, you tend to go through the motions a little bit and get a little bit less out of it. Um, when you're bringing in a team like St Mary's, um, the idea is to try and uh, challenge our set piece, our scrum, our line out and our backline starter plays. And we'll be doing that against uh, possibly the best opposition in the country uh, at our collegiate level. Um, so the, the objectives we're really trying to get out of it is really just to measure ourselves uh, against the top, top players and the top program in the country and also to really be able to hammer out our um, attacking patterns and starter plays um, so that when we come up into our California conference, um, guys are kind of conditioned to, to be performing against pressure. Coming off another playoff appearance, there is a club-wide expectation of making the postseason again and going even further. My hopes and expectations are very high this season. We have a great squad. I think we can do really well in the regular season. Um, I think we can take it to St. Mary's and claim the California Conference title. I also believe that we can go far in the in the postseason and try to reach the Final Four, which we haven't been to in the past three years. 
Tessa Riero says that with many veterans returning who competed in the playoffs last season, the team is more up to the test this year. We're certainly hoping to get a, a playoff berth again, and I think the guys who uh, travelled out to Utah and lost that playoff game last year will be a whole lot stronger for the experience. One of the issues we had in Utah last year was a lot of guys, that was the biggest game they'd played and they were a little bit short on big match experience. Um, so hopefully getting a second playoff game, um, guys will be a little bit more seasoned and perform a little better. Cal Poly returns to action in the winter quarter on January 7th when they host Sacramento State. The team hopes to improve on a second place conference finish and push into the deep rounds of the playoffs this year. Veterans as well as rookies will have to step up to match last year's success and to prove that Cal Poly is one of California's best.